My name is Samuel Chisache. I am the founder of Chisache Farmhouse Limited. It is located in Wakiso Town Council in Wakiso District. We are in the business of rearing Braila birds, specifically for meat. We have been here since 2012 and uh, we are agripreneurs. As a broiler farmer who has been in this business for close to 10 years, these are some of the few practices that I would recommend that anyone who is looking to join this business would have to do to be able to succeed. There are different types of chicken on the market that are being reared commercially. So there are layers, there are broilers, there are crailers. Basically, there are quite a number. Zeroing down to one depends on the target that you have and how, how much uh, commerciality you want to attain from that particular business. Personally, I, uh, we realized that crailers were not the way to go for us because we realized we have not seen a market of 5,000 crailers. Uh, layers are also good because you can go up to 10,000, 20,000 uh, layers, but for some reason we wanted something with a short gestational period like broilers, which we could do for five weeks and then we could clear out and clean the houses and then start over. If a person wants to look after broiler chicken, what would be the first things that they would have to start with? Of course, you have to first have a piece of land where you're going to do your broiler chicken from. And then uh, after acquiring the piece of land, you'd have to set up an appropriate housing for chicken. Uh, you know, chicken have a particular housing. They, they, they have to be open for better aeration and all these things. But once you get into the details of the construction of housing, it is good that you get someone who is well versed in that area to help you out. And there's usually veterinary doctors who can advise you, advise your builders on how to go forward. What they would usually recommend would be that for whatever number of chicken that you're looking at, say 1,000, the house should be at least, you know that 1,000 birds should at least, for each bird should cover at least one square foot. Uh, to construct a good broiler house, you do not need so much. All you need maybe would be for starters, you need to construct a house to about three feet, just the bricks and then you can use sticks and then maybe a wire mesh and then the roofing. The chicken house needs to be open. The sides have to be open. Actually, the four sides have to be open. So you don't need to use a lot of bricks. Mainly what you need is the most important thing is the wire mesh. The wire meshing that you use on your sides, which would act like your windows. Mainly not to let in birds, not to let in uh, there are those small, small birds that can enter and eat the chicken feed and also spread diseases to the chicken. The chicken house shouldn't be letting in direct sunlight. It should be around a shaded area so that the chicken are not affected by the sunlight. So those are the four things that you would have to consider in whichever, whichever direction you choose to build it. Your house should also have a foot dip where you'd still pour a little disinfectant so that when your workers get in, they have to step in to ensure that they are not entering with diseases or small bacteria and organisms that you may not be able to see. So after ensuring that you have done all of that, then you'll have to make sure that your farm has an adequate supply of water because chicken need a constant supply of good, clean water. After ensuring that you have good, clean water, you would also go ahead and acquire the feed before you actually get the chicken because once the chicken arrive, they need to already find these things in place. They need to find the water, they need to find the, chick the, the chicken feed already there. You would need to also set up a brooding place for the chicken because when the chicken come, they're like babies. Like, you know, you have to keep them warm. So in this case here, in our brooding process, we usually use charcoal. Uh, for people who don't know a brooding process, I would say it is like taking care of uh, a little baby, a newborn baby. Then secondly, it has to be fenced off. You may not necessarily need a fence all over your farm, but just a house where the chicken are going to be put for biosecurity reasons, which is mainly ensuring safety of your birds from diseases, from um, outsiders, um, stray cats and dogs and things like that. You'd also have to disinfect your house efficiently 
There are a few disinfectants that are very common to most people, household items that we use like Jik is a very good disinfectant that you can use and start with, and a few other disinfectants that are on the market. After constructing the houses, then you'd have to go into the management, find a good management team, set up a farm, buy a few things in here. You need to have adequate water supply. You need to find out where you're going to get your chicken from. They have to be of good quality and a few things like that that you have to get into. If you are to buy chicks, I think that would be one of the most important things that you should consider. Responsibility. How responsible is your supplier? NSSF. A better life.